Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us ahead of this FIFA Women's World Cup qualifier against North Macedonia. You should now see Serena Viegman on your screen. Uh, Millie Bright will join separately afterwards, so we'll keep this to 10, 15 minutes. Please raise your hand if you have a question and please uh, turn on your camera. We'll begin with Anton Tillery from Sky. Hi, Serena. Nice to see you. Good morning. Um, first off, I suppose we haven't heard from you since it was announced that Leah Williamson will be captain in during the Euros. Um, obviously, why Leah and why did you want to uh, make that decision now? Yeah, I wanted to have clarity um, in, the, in the squad at this point in April. Um, and I think Leah did a great job. Um, she's a very good player. Uh, she connects people on and off the pitch. So that's why I made her the captain. Leah obviously isn't playing against North Macedonia. And yet she played the entire game at the weekend after taking a blow to the head. How, first off, how is she? And secondly, should that have happened? Uh, she, yeah, she's doing well. Um, and she, she came in camp. She came in camp good, but we didn't want to take any risk. And she had a little bit of a headache. So we, then we, we take the protocols, the medical protocols, which means that she just needs to take a little more time. Uh, in her program to build her up, uh, no duels, no no headings. So she's not ready for the game Friday. So she's getting prepared for the Tuesday game. We speak a lot about player welfare, but it seems odd that she finished the game after after taking a blow to the head. Does our head injuries sort of you looked after enough or, or properly in, in the game? Uh, pardon me. Are you talking about the Sunday game now? They looked at properly. Yeah. Well, I I think so. Um, uh, we just took her from from Sunday evening when she came in, and from that we we have been really aware of the situation and doing the right things. So um, I think she's in a good place. No, oh no, Alex and no Lotta Woburn Moy, um, they've had to pull out. How disappointing is it? Obviously, you know we won't see either, either of those over the next two games. Yeah, it's really really disappointed. Far and foremost for themselves. Um, and well, for, for, for a lot also because she couldn't make camp last uh, February too. Um, but uh, again, we have to do the right things for them. Uh, yes, we want them in our squad and we want them to play. But if it's if they have too much uh, like physical issues, um, you don't want to make that big risk that they get injured for a longer time. Um, that's not, not what we want to do. So I think we made the right decision, although very disappointing for them and for us as a team. Finally, Gabby George is, is, is in the squad instead. Um, what do you know about her and, and why did you pick her over, over other players? Yeah, she, um, I've never met her before. Uh, of course, I've seen, I've seen her play. Um, and she, she has joined the squad before. Um, then she got an injury. Now this season, she's coming, she came back. Um, she was in the under-23 squad. And, well, she's a, she's a young player, talented player. So for me, she's an opportunity. She's also left-footed, an opportunity uh, to see her in this in this camp. So she's coming in. Thanks, Rene. Thank you. Thank you, Anton. If we can now go to Katie Shanahan from ITV. Hi, Serena. Good to see you. Hope you're well. Yes, thank you. You too. Just two from me, if that's OK. Firstly, are you likely to make changes uh, for North Macedonia, bearing in mind there are 124 places below England in the FIFA rankings? What, what do you mean about cha changes in the squad? Yeah. Well, we've, after the February camp, we played many players. And now, uh, obvious that from the initially squad, we missed some players. So we're bringing in um, the squad that I think at this moment is, uh, is the best team. Um, and I know the competition in this team is so so high, so we do have some opportunity to try out, hopefully, being very respectful to, to Northern Macedonia, but also an opportunity to try some more things out during the game. And just on the captaincy, how was Steph Horton when you told her about the captaincy? Yeah, she. I talked to her before camp. I've been in touch with her uh, a lot. Um, hopefully she got back. But uh, yes, she, she took it very well, I think, really as a leader. As a leader. Uh, and yes, of course, she's disappointed because she has been kept at this team for so long and she has done a tremendous job. So lots of, lots of respect for her. 
But she also knows, and that's what we talked about too, she hasn't joined this team for a long time. She came in September and had to uh, leave because of an injury. She started playing with the club in January again, and then she had to step out again. So she has missed so many things. And then at the other hand, also, we hope she will get fit, but then she still you know, has to be fit, she has to perform, so then she's starting to compete if she gets fit uh, to hopefully compete to making the squad. So that's that's too hard to wait for that. Um, and with all the things we've done during this season, that I thought this wasn't the moment to, um, to wait and appoint the, the captain. Is it going to be a race against time for her for the Euros? Is it going to be really quite tight for her injury? Well, yes, it is, but she takes it step by step. Um, and that's how we approach it together. First she, but we are in contact all the time and we'll see how far she gets. We, she gets support from the club. She gets support from us. Uh, and then when she gets back, um, then of, obviously she has to perform right away when she would come in training camp. So yes, it is. We know. And we just take it step by step. Thanks, Irina. I look forward to speaking to you tomorrow night. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. If we can now go to Dan Pedlin from FAWSL Full-Time Magazine. Hi, Serena. I hope you're well. Good morning. Uh, you? Um, yeah, good. Thank you. Um, I just wondered what um, Gabby George's reaction was to the news that she'd been called up. Yeah, well, she was with the under-23. She was in Spain. So Mo Marley first informed her and then I gave her a call and she was very excited. Um, perhaps a little surprised, but she she couldn't wait to come over and uh, and join this team. So that's good to hear. Uh, that players really want to join this team and really excited and ambitious to um, to play for the national team. I just want to ask you about North Macedonia. Um, you know, have you had a chance to see the the stadium, the pitch yet? Um, and it feels like it's it's quite an open stadium. So are you expecting them to maybe you know slow the game down when the ball goes out and maybe make it a little bit difficult for you to build momentum? Well, how we approach it, we are we. Most of all, look at ourselves. So if we keep possession of the ball and we have a high ball tempo and we keep it uh, in possession, then they can't kick it out. So that's what we're trying to do. We, we expect to be on the ball uh, a lot, as we did in, in uh, September. Um, and we're trying to, to bring the best on the pitch as we can, as we do every game. Um, so hopefully we can speed up the game and not giving them the opportunity to, to slow it down. And I think for them, it's a great opportunity. You know, they play in the stadium, uh, a great match. So hopefully we can make it a nice evening tomorrow night. Thanks, Raina. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. If we can now go to Tom Gary from The Telegraph. Hi, Serena. Nice to speak to you. Um, I just wanted to ask you about Ellen White, please, if that's OK. You're on 49 goals for England now, one more for 50 goals. Um, how... How big an achievement would it be for her to get to, to 50 goals for her country? Well, I think 49 is already a big achievement. <laughs> uh, but that's all. So 50 would even a bigger achievement. So um, she's a striker. She wants to make scores. Strikers live from, from goals. Uh, but again, as I told when she got this record um, uh, before, uh, it's it starts with how we play as a team and we want to score lots of goals and at the end it doesn't really matter who scores the goals but we want to score goals and if she does score the 50th, I'm really happy for her and we are really happy for her but we most of all are very happy for the team because we want to create lots of chances, we want to score lots of goals and the more people that score a goal, the more um, unpredictable we become so that's actually what we're working on and, and just also on that, are you, are you seeing from Ellen now a, uh, a like a, a role where she's kind of almost mentoring and helping the young the younger players in the squad? Is that coming through as she's one of the more experienced players in in the camp? Yeah, what I've noticed uh, in this team, there's so many personalities, and we have lots of players that have lots of experience, and they all trying to help the other ones. So. At one hand, we're really competing with each other. And in this team, it's very competitive because I think the level's really high. And for me and the technical and my technical staff, it's really hard to make decisions. And that's what we want because we know if we bring players on the pitch, the, the starting lineup, we know when we change, we can even make a difference. Um, uh, and that's what we want. But what we also see while we are competing, uh, we also very supportive to each other. So yes, Ellen is talking to Alicia when she comes in, but also other players are talking to their um, to their teammates to help them. Thank you. Good luck for the game. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, Tom. We have we have time for one last question. So, Don Smith from EnglandFootball.org. Morning, Serena. Good morning. Um, you've obviously established a five point lead on um, the two um, sides below you in the in the group, um, Austria and North, Northern Ireland already. Um, so, with that in mind, and obviously you'll be thinking ahead to the Euros in the summer on home soil, of course. Are you able to use these these last few qualifiers, especially this month? to try out um, new formations and new personnel ahead of the European Championships? Or are you fully focused on getting as many qualification points as you can? Yeah, first, uh, first, re- what we want to do now is, is, is play our best and, and uh, get two wins. And um, like the Northern Macedonian game tomorrow, it's, um, we'll be in possession so much of the time. And that's a little different than we expect from the Euros. But still, you know, we want to play our best game against the opponent that's in front of us. Um, all at the same time, when you're playing a game, it's always a development too. So you actually are already pre- preparing for the Euros too. But the main thing is that we play our best game. We win. We win the game tomorrow, and we and we win the game on Tuesday, uh, and get as close as qualification as possible. And then we go to the next stage, qual- uh, preparing for the Euros. Uh, and just finally, it looks set to be the case that England, all of England's group stage games in the European Championships are going to be sellouts, so so completely packed crowds. So as that gets closer now, that must re- really excite you, considering the size of the stadium that England will be playing in. Yeah, it's really really exciting. Uh, although now that that doesn't have any focus at all at the moment, we're just focusing on on Friday now, and then Tuesday comes, and Tuesday is going to be nice too because. Uh, I think there's already sold 12,000 or even over 12,000 tickets. But um, that is exciting. I was at at Old Trafford the other day watching uh, Manchester United Everton and it was really impressive, really nice. So got a little bit excited already. But now folks is back playing tomorrow and uh, then continue to playing the game on Tuesday. Okay, best of luck with the two games ahead of you. Thank you. Thank you, Dom, and thank you for everyone's questions. I will now take a couple of minutes break and, and Millie Bright will be with you after the break. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully you, you should now see Millie Bright on your screen. Um, if you have a question, please raise your hand. And again, please also have your camera on for any questions you need to ask. We'll start with Anton Tillery from Sky. Hi, Millie. Hi, Millie. Hi, Millie. Hello, you okay? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Um, first off, congratulations on being named... Vice captain, um, how, how does it feel? Thank you very much. Um, yeah, it's a massive honour. It's honestly, it's. I think as a player, um, there's no, yeah, higher honour really than being able to, when needed, to to lead your country out. And yeah, I'm extremely proud of Leah. I must say, she's been absolutely amazing, fully deserved. Um, I think the way she carries herself on and off the pitch and. Yeah, I think it's um, yeah still a little bit sinking in, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, really, really happy. You briefly mentioned Leah there, but do you guys work well as a tandem? And sort of, you know, how how do you sort of compare and contrast uh, leadership styles? Yeah, I think it's just natural. I don't think we have to to work too hard in in being on the same page, and you know, we get on really well. So I think we have the same mindset on the pitch, uh, front footed. Um, I think I might be a little bit louder than Leah uh, so yeah we I think we work off each other really well but really looking forward to to building that relationship um, on and off the pitch and yeah hopefully bring you success we just heard from Serena talking about she wants goals from all over the pitch and that's certainly what you provided recently um, how have you found sort of your new role as, as goal scorer and, and golden boot winner <laughs> Yeah, I think that's still sinking in from from last camp, but it's something that I've really wanted to add to my game. Um, I've I feel like I do have a lot of presence, and you know I've just really been lacking um, in providing goals for the team. But yeah, for me, in any way, shape, or form that I can help the team be successful and, and win, I will do. Um, but yeah, still striving to to get on the score sheet and put other people in good positions to to score goals as well. How surreal was that moment, though, when you were there with a golden boot with Alexia Pateus? And do you still have the trophy? Yes, I do. I did ask her if she wanted to take it, and she politely said that I could keep it, being a defender. So, yeah, a lot of respect for her, and thank you for letting me keep the trophy. But, yeah, it was um, very surreal. Um, but I think, you know, again, it just shows when you keep at something and, and you keep pushing that you can be successful. So, yeah, it's um, give me a taste of 
of what I want to go on and, and continue to do. Um, not sure if I'll be up there again, but yeah, you never know. Thanks, Millie, and congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you, Anton. If we can now go to Katie Shanahan from ITV. Hi, Millie. How are you doing? Hello. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Last time we were speaking, you had the uh, Golden Boot Trophy in your hand, so uh, good, to, good to see you uh, since then. I'm just interested to see how you and the players are going to change your mindset from winning the Arnold Clark Cup to now, with respect, playing against North Macedonia, who you've previously beaten 8-0. For us, our mindset remains the same. Um, we want to go out there and and have high standards. We want to, obviously, we want to win the game. But first and foremost, we want a, a good performance to to show our qualities. And yeah, I think it's when you've come off a, a high, we have to we have to be prepared to to go out and play again. You know, we can't just stay in that high moment. You have to to come back down and, and get back to the hard work. So for us, it's about going out there tomorrow and, and like I said, doing all the right things and, and getting the job done. And the game against North Macedonia last time was actually your first under Serena. So how much have the team progressed since then? Massively. Um, I hope everyone can see that back home as well, how much the team's developing. And, you know, I think it's... Um, I think you can see that we we certainly feel that in and around the the games and trainings, uh, we see the quality of people, you know, really coming coming out of their shells and, and playing at their best, which is what we want to see. We want to put everyone in a position, um, yeah, to be on the top stage and to to play the highest performances. So for us, we're seeing that. We just have to keep keep pushing the levels. Um, but yeah, there's been a massive improvement. I think we're we're harder to beat, and we're we're now certainly being ruthless down the other end as well. Thanks, Millie. Best of luck tomorrow night. Yeah. Thank you, Katie. We now have time for two more questions. So if we can go to Tom Gary from The Telegraph, please. Uh, hi, Millie. Thanks for your time. We're just chatting about your goals there. I wonder if I could ask you about another goal scorer, Ellen White, who only needs one more goal for 50 goals for England. And he's only four behind Wayne Rooney's 53. I'm just wondering what if you could talk to us about, about, about the contribution she'd been making uh, to this team and, and how special that would be to get to 50 goals for England. Yeah, Ellen is a is a goal machine. I think everybody knows that. I think it would be a, a huge achievement, but I'd be lying if I said that's been the conversation. Um, Ellen is very much two feet on the ground and she will do absolutely anything to to help the team win. Um, so yeah, it's not really been a conversation, but um, I'm sure it will be when she eventually achieves it. Thanks, Millie. Good luck for the game. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. And then if we can end with Dan Pentland from FAWSL Full Time Magazine. Hi, Millie. Hope you're well. Um, obviously, North Macedonia was the first game for Serena Wiegman. Um, Other than goals, what help? What else has she kind of done to help you improve your game? Um, I think we're just connecting. I think it's about getting the relationships on the pitch. Um, composure at the back and just allowing you to be front-footed um, defensively that is and yeah really being hard to beat and yeah not only being ruthless in front of goal but making sure that you know our priority is uh, keeping clean sheets Cheers Mandy that's great best of luck tomorrow night thank you Thanks Dan and apologies to anyone who has their hand raised and we weren't able to ask a question a question uh, we now have open training for the first 15 minutes. Similarly, we'll head out to that. Thank you, everyone, and hope you see you tomorrow.